One of the great efficiency tips in Microsoft Office 2010 is the Quick Access Toolbar, QAT for short. The Quick Access Toolbar appears in the upper part of your screen on all the 2010 applications. And what you can do is you can easily add buttons onto the Quick Access Toolbar for those things you do on a regular basis. It's a great time saver. You can save yourself time in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and so on. This video shows you the three methods for customizing the Quick Access Toolbar in the 2010 applications. The first method for modifying or customizing the Quick Access Toolbar is a right-click method. The Quick Access Toolbar is in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. It's positioned just above the ribbon. By default, it has a Save button, an Undo button, and a Redo button. If you want to add extra buttons onto the Quick Access Toolbar, there are three ways of doing it. And again, again this is the first method. It's a right-click method. As you're working along in the different applications, and in this case, I'm on Microsoft Word, maybe I want to do a spell check on a document. So I go to the Review tab. It changes the look of the ribbon. On the left-hand side of the ribbon, there's the Spelling and Grammar Check button. I want to add a copy of that to the Quick Access Toolbar. And to do it, all I do is I put my mouse on the desired button that I want to add a copy of to the Quick Access Toolbar. I'll do a right-click with my mouse. I'll get a shortcut list. And on the shortcut list, I'll do a left-click on Add to Quick Access Toolbar. I now put a copy of the Spell Check button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Again, another example. I'm working in Microsoft Word. I want to insert a table. I click on the Insert tab. And I want to put a copy of the table button on the Quick Access Toolbar. So all again I do is I do a right click on it. And the top choice says Add to Quick Access Toolbar. I'll do a left click on that to add that to the Quick Access Toolbar. It works in Microsoft Word. It works in all different 2010 applications. I'll do the same process in Microsoft Excel. In Microsoft Excel, I want to put the Auto, Auto Sum button on the Quick Access Toolbar. So I move across on the ribbon and I right click on Auto Sum. I left click on Add to Quick Access Toolbar. I've now added a copy of the Auto Sum button to the Quick Access Toolbar. That's the first method of, of customizing or modifying the Quick Access Toolbar. It's a right click on any button that you want to add to the Quick Access Toolbar. The second method for customizing or modifying the Quick Access Toolbar is choosing choices off of, a sim off of a simple list. To the right of the Quick Access Toolbar, there's a little down arrow. I'm going to put my mouse on a little arrow and do a regular left click. I'll get a drop down list of choices. Now on the drop down list, it shows me the things that are currently on the Quick Access Toolbar. There's a check mark next to these buttons because they're already on the Quick Access Toolbar. I'm going to go to the New button and click. It'll put the white piece of paper on the Quick Access Toolbar, which I'll use for starting a brand new document in the future. Again, go back to the little arrow again. I'll click on Open. And then I'll put the yellow folder on the Quick Access Toolbar, which I would use for opening up an existing document. I'll go to Microsoft Excel now and just repeat the process on Microsoft Excel. I'll go to the arrow to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar and click. I'll click on New. I'll go back to the arrow again and click on Open. I've now put a button on that will start a brand new workbook in Microsoft Excel and also a button that I can use for opening up an existing document. That's the second method for customizing the Quick Access Toolbar, clicking on the little arrow to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar. The third method for customizing the Quick Access Toolbar is going to a separate window where, I, where you can see a full listing of all the buttons that are available in the different applications. I'm in Microsoft Word. I want to go to the arrow again to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar. I'll click. I'll move down towards the lower part where it says More Commands. Click on More Commands. It takes me into a window. In this window on the right hand side it shows a depiction of my current setup of my Quick Access Toolbar. On the left hand side it shows me the popular buttons or the popular commands that are in Microsoft Word. I'll click on the drop down arrow. In the drop down list I'll click on All Commands. It now shows me all the buttons that are available in Microsoft Word. They're listed alphabetically. It's going to scroll down the list. I'm looking for a button that says the word close on it. I'll put my mouse on the word close and click on it. I'll click on add button. I've now added the close button to the quick access toolbar. And if I chose to, I could, I could move this button up by going to the right hand side. There's up and down arrows. I'll click on the up, and up arrow a couple times to move the close button further up the list. And I'll click on OK. It takes me back to Microsoft Word. And I now have the close button on the quick access toolbar. The same thing in Microsoft Excel. I'll go to the arrow again, to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar, and click. I'll move down the list where it says More Commands. 
I'll go to the left-hand side box where it says popular commands, click on the down arrow. I'll click on all commands. It shows me all the buttons that are available in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to scroll down the left-hand column list. I'm looking for the equal sign. And once I find the equal sign, I'll click on it. I'll click on add. Then put one more on. I'm moving down further. I'm looking for the plus sign. And once I find the plus sign, I'll put my mouse on the plus sign. I'll click on add. I've now added those buttons onto the quick access toolbar. And again, if I wanted to move them up, I could just by clicking on one of the buttons and using the arrow to move it up further in the list. And I'll click OK. And it takes you back to the quick access toolbar in Microsoft Excel. If I want to get rid of some buttons on the quick access toolbar, it's a simple method of doing a right click on the buttons. So back in Microsoft Word again, if I want to remove the spell check button off the quick access toolbar in Word, I'll go to the quick access toolbar on the button that I want to remove from the quick access toolbar and do a right click. And on the shortcut list, the top choice now says remove from quick access toolbar. I'll left click on that. Same thing, if I want to take the table button off the quick access toolbar, right click left click on remove from quick access toolbar I've now modified or taken some buttons off the quick access toolbar in Microsoft Word and the same thing in Microsoft Excel if I want to take off the auto sum button for example I right click on the auto sum button left click on remove from quick access toolbar those that's the method you would use for removing items off the quick access toolbar so now you know how to change the quick access toolbar and the different applications again it's a great tool for improving your efficiency for more efficiency tips on becoming effective in Office 2010 applications, please come to our website. The website is www.joecomputertips.com. On the website, we have uh, lots of videos that show you different ways that you can become efficient and lots of ways of solving problems in the Microsoft 2010 applications. Thanks again for watching the video. My name, is, my, my name again is Joe Peterson. Thanks.